Okay, so in this video, we're going to carry on with the very basic C Sharp introduction. So in the last video, we made a console application which asked the user for their name. It stored their name in a variable, then it output that variable. Okay, so in this one, we're going to work with numbers. We're going to take two numbers off the user. We're going to add or subtract them and give them back the answer. Okay, again, it'll be a console application. So if you hit new project, Make sure it's on Visual C Sharp console application. Call it whatever you want, so I'll second program. Then once that loads, again, you'll get this framework because of Visual Studio being an IDE and it helps us along. What we're gonna do is make sure we're in static void main. So remember this is where our program actually starts. So what we're gonna do then, in this particular program, we're gonna ask for two numbers, add them together, kick out the answer. So we need to store those two numbers. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set some space aside to put those numbers in. So there are variables. We're gonna store number one, number two, and we'll store the answer. So we need three variables. And instead of being strings like last time, where it can hold characters and text, they're gonna be integers, which can hold um, a certain value, which is minus 2,147,483,648. Two billion one hundred forty-seven million four hundred eighty-three thousand six hundred forty-seven. Okay, so if you can remember that, good on you. Right. So to declare an integer, we just put int num one. That's what we're going to call it. Num one. We can call it whatever you want, but remember, it's case sensitive. If you put any capitals in there, you need to use capitals throughout. All right. Int num two, and then int answer. Right. So there you go. There's our three variables declared. And remember, don't worry about the green lines. That just means we haven't used them yet. They've been declared but not used. So it's a console application, and we need to ask the user for that first number. So we'll hit up the console class, dot, and then we're going to use the write method again. And we've been a method. We have brackets, and we're going to overload it. We're going to pass it the statement. Uh, let's ask for the number. So what is your first number? Okay, question mark space, just to get that gap in between what they type and what we've typed. Semicolon. We now need to store that first number. So we just num1 equals, and we want to read the line that that user's given us. So console.readLine, and then two braces because it's a method. End our statement. Now, the issue we've got here, the reason that's gone red, is because by default, that then even though they've typed a number, so even if they type 47, it's going to be treat as a string, okay? And because it's a string, it cannot implicitly just be converted to a number. So what we need to do before the console.readLine, we need to do a conversion, okay? So if you do convert dot, and we're going to convert it to 2 int 32, okay? So we're using the convert class. We're using the two in 32 method, and we're applying that method to what's been passed to us in the console.readLine. Okay, so that's now gonna convert that, even though it was a number, technically it's been treated as a string, it's gonna convert it to an in 32, then it's gonna start in number one. So that's very important. Okay, so we've got the first number. We now need to ask for the second number. So console.write. What is your second number? End our statement. And again, we want to store that, but this time in num2. And we need to convert it. So convert to int32. Then we want the line from the user. So console.readLine. Then end our statement. That's now both our numbers stored. So what we're going to do now we're gonna do the arithmetic. So if you just do answer equals, so now whatever we do is gonna be stored in answer. And we can just do num1, say plus num2, end statement. And if we go on to the next line, so now let's say they give us 10 and 10 for their two numbers. Obviously it's gonna be plus together and be 20. And it's gonna store that in answer, all right? So now we wanna tell them what the answer is. So console dot Right. Um, the answer to 
And what we're going to do now, we're going to do some concatenation. So if you remember what that is, it's adding two strings together. Okay, so we'll use the plus operator. Num1, concatenate, open, uh, open your quotes again, the plus symbol, because we actually want to show the plus symbol. Concatenate again, num2, concatenate again, equal symbol, concatenate again, oops, concatenate again, then answer. Okay, end statement. So this should say, let's pretend the first number was 10, second number was 10, the answer is 20. The answer to 10 plus 10 equals 20. That should be what we get. So if you hit F5 to run your program, we've missed something out. See if you can remember from last time what's going to happen. First number is 10. Second number is 10. Answer 20 and it immediately closed down. The program's finished running as far as it's concerned once it showed us that. So we need to delay it. We need to stop it. So if we use console.read key or read line, either way it'll work and end it. Okay, we just need to do that, so it's actually going to stop and wait at that to wait for our response. So if we run it again, 10, 10, the answer to 10 plus 10 is 20. There you go. So, there's several different operators we could do at this stage here. So we could do divide, times, whoops, times, take away. Okay, you get the idea. So if we just do a divide. However, our statement will no longer be applicable because 10 plus 10 will not be the same as that. So we change that to a divide, save, run it again. So, you know, 100 divided by 10, 100 divided by 10 is 10. So you go, you've got a simple program. It'll do some basic arithmetic for you. What we can do, we can expand on this in a later video and we'll have it so the user also picks what type of sum it is. But for now, You've used the console class again. You've used some methods from it, such as the read key and the write. We've touched on a new bit here. So we've touched on integers, which is new. And we've looked at that conversion, which we had to do. OK? So I hope that's just brought in a few more extra terminology. We're just going to slowly build up like that. And then eventually, hopefully, you'll be able to knock out some pretty good programs. All right, if you like the video, just hit subscribe. And there'll be some more coming shortly. Thank you.